good morning. We are headed from Vero Beach to Hobie Sound today. We're gonna anchor right around mile marker 1000, which seems insane to me. Uh, in this video, we are going to be uh, doing a section of the ICW that we have never done before. Uh, the last two times we have gone across the Okeechobee waterway uh, to go to the West Coast or to come back from the West Coast. So this is gonna be brand new for us. So we're gonna take you along the way. It's a little daunting because I'm looking at how many bridges we have over the next three days and I'm, it's a little crazy, but uh, we wanna do it just so we can say we've done the whole section all the way to Miami. So we're going to uh, tough it out, even though every bit of me wants to go outside right now. <laughs> Uh, St. Lucie Inlet area where you come in where the Okeechobee waterway meets the ICW can be very, very busy. Uh, it's, it's referred to a lot of times as the junction. And there's a reason for that. There's a lot of traffic going each direction right now. I don't think it's going to be as uh, heavy traffic because the Okeechobee waterway is essentially closed at the moment because uh, the St. Lucie lock, which is the very first one, is closed for repairs until March. Uh, it's, it closed on like the 3rd of January and it's closed through March. So uh, not a lot of traffic going across the state of Florida right now. Everybody's having to go out and around. Um, but we still expect there to be some, some big sport fish traffic through there. That's typically what you see. So we are in full blown like out to sea mode down below. Everything's stowed and uh, everything's stowed up here. Aiden's got his life jacket on, all that jazz for the day. We also expect quite a few dolphins today. So Aiden definitely needs to have his life jacket on. <laughs> So this is as far south on the East Coast that we have ever been. So everything from here south is going to be brand new to us. I'm pretty excited for like the Fort Lauderdale of Miami just to see how crazy and all the buildings and houses and ridiculous yachts. Today's my birthday, but it's also the day that I've been like the most stressed out about and we were actually going to try to skip because I've been so stressed out about it, but it happens to follow my birthday too. I'm so excited. Can you tell? Today we are headed through um, a lot of bridges. Uh, we have 18 bridges to go through today and only five of them are on demand. The rest are on a half hour, every half hour schedule. Um, but it's a mess. I made myself a little cheat sheet because I didn't know how else to make it function in my brain. So, um, yeah, so on here, it's the mile marker, the bridge name, it's opening schedule and how high it is. The how high it is is more for uh, Jen and Elliot than it was for me because they only have to have like four bridges open today and we have to have 18 open. Uh, for a little context, <laughs> prior to today, including the two we went through yesterday, we have only had to have 25 bridges open for us in 1,000 miles. Um, and of those 25, 13 were on demand, so more than half. So we're gonna go 47.7 miles today and do 18 bridges. And we did a thousand miles and only did 25 bridges. When in a video way back when, when we said things we wish we knew when we first started cruising, um, and we said that bridges aren't really a big deal until you get to Southern Florida, <laughs> this is what we're talking about. <laughs> 
So today, instead of keeping our radio on 16 and 13, we're going to keep it on 16 and 9 because 9 is the bridge channel and we're going to be on there all freaking day. So am I forgetting anything? It's your birthday. It's my birthday. Whoop, whoop. Andy's more Give excited. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> uh, we're not even going somewhere interesting to like anchor tonight either. We're, we're through 18 bridges. <laughs> I know, but one of the things that is actually super exciting about today is we are going to go past my grandparents condo, um, in Delray beach, which is really exciting. Cause I can't tell you how many hours I have spent on their balcony watching other boats go by the ICW. It is probably the one thing about the Southern Florida ICW that I'm very excited about, which is just to be able to go like, hi, even though they're not there, they're main. So, um, we'll just wave to the building <laughs> as we go by, but, uh, yeah, that's pretty exciting. So what's the, what's the, gonna, they're going to call you, right? Yeah. They'll call me cause it's my birthday today and we'll just tell them. Like, Look, we're looking at your condo right now. <laughs> and they're going to be like, what? <laughs> So they'll call today for my birthday. I'm sure we'll get a bunch of phone calls today as we're trying to traverse the like probably most challenging section we've done. But let's get to it because the sun is almost up. Whoop, 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 whoop. Bridge, 707 Bridge. This is the southbound sailing vessel Acadia. That third bridge, uh, did not open all the way. <laughs> I'm just glad they let us through, but the bridge tender had to like hail us on the radio because like the lights and stuff didn't even change. So, um, and they were like, There's a PJ coming. and they were uh, pretty specific about not entering until they were all the way open. So he had to get on the radio and tell us we could go through because quote, I guess they're open. <laughs> so already we're running into some timing issues, but we kind of knew that this one was going to be potentially the worst one for today, but who knows, the day's still young. Um, between Indian Town Road Bridge and the Donald Ross Bridge, there's 3.7 statute miles. So in order to get from one to the other in the half hour between openings, you have to average 7.4 miles per hour, which is six and a half knots the whole time. And that's also only if the Indian Town Road Bridge opens on time and opens quickly, which it does not do. So it took us eight minutes to get through that bridge from, like we were through it at 8.08. Um, so we would have had to average like 6.8 knots between the two and the currents against us. So that was definitely not happening. So we're going to have to take an hour to go 3.7 statute miles. So we are just putting along, enjoying the views of these gigantic houses. So this bridge here uh, is number four on the day and uh, it went to open at 8.30. We were shooting for the nine o'clock and it has two spans. It looks like there's only one, but there's actually two and they both should raise but only one of them went up <laughs> at 8.30. <laughs> so uh, they're trying to troubleshoot to figure out what's going on. We don't know if it's going to open at 9 or not. This could put a huge wrench in our plans for the day if we're stuck here for a couple hours. Not ideal. These guys in the Sportfish, uh, they were trying to get through on the 8.30. That's who they were trying to open for. And they were super laid back on the radio. <laughs> the, the bridge tender was not. He's uh, stressed out, I think. So, is what it is. Not much we can do about it. Happy birthday! Shellfish Marina. <laughs> it's, it's my birthday! <laughs> I'll eat this after birthday. Too. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Told you guys would pass us. <laughs> they just announced that they think they're opening at 10. So we only had to wait an hour longer than we thought we were going to, assuming it opens. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> so we got two more quick sessions and then a little break. So we're gonna we're boogieing down to the next one, which is a half hour from now, and then the next one after that's only 15 minutes. So uh, we should make both of those no problem with at our speeds. And the current's with us right now, so that should also help. All right. That was bridge number six, and we have about a seven mile break before bridge number seven. So we're gonna take advantage. I think we're gonna try to get some snacks and maybe get lunch set up uh, over the next hour while we motor along. You're good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's definitely not 65 feet. <laughs> starting to think that we have bitten off more than we can chew. We're currently at mile 1031. We're trying to get to mile 1047. It's two o'clock? It's 2.15. We're sitting in front of a bridge that won't open until 2.30. We still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We still have another eight bridge openings. Even if we didn't have to wait for a single bridge, it'd still take us another three hours, which is five o'clock. Figure we wait, I don't know, another hour's worth of wait time for bridges. We definitely bit off more than we could chew. We are racing to try to get through this Ocean Avenue Boynton Beach Bridge. Uh, it's saying 302 on the GPS, but there's a boat waiting, so they have to open, and I am just not gonna let up. I'm just gonna make him stay open for me. <laughs> This is the bridge. This one right here is the one I've been the most excited about for the entire day. Andy and I keep a uh, little running over under bridge list of bridges that we've been both over and under. Um, this bridge right here, I have been over, I can't tell you how many times. Um, and I've only been under in like a small boat many years ago, but uh, this one right here, Atlantic Avenue. It's my grandparents condos around here. So uh, we regularly go over this bridge to go to like dinners and stuff. It's so crazy. I can't tell you how many boats I've watched go by on this intercoastal waterway in one of these condos right here. <laughs> one of these little balconies. It's so crazy that I'm one of them now.
We have made it to our anchorage for the night and it, the coolest thing about today is that the water is so clear here that we can see all the way to the anchor and I am going to go out on the paddleboard and uh, go check it out. Yeah. And you know what? You can see the bottom of Acadia. Is this too cool? Oh my god. <laughs> Do you think this will get old when we're in the Bahamas? Right now it's not old yet. <laughs> <laughs> 